Hey, welcome to the Sports Desk. I'm Josh Rotenberg. After dropping their first two games, the Temple football team is on a hot streak. Al Golden's Owls are now winners of three straight against their MAC opponents after their latest victory over the Ball State Cardinals. The team had a dominant performance in this one. Junior defensive back Jaquan Jarrett came up with two interceptions and a fumble recovery. Offensively, freshman running back Bernard Pierce scored two touchdowns and finished with his third straight 100-yard rushing game. The Owls improved their record to 3-2 and two with the 24-19 victory. For the first time since 1967, the team is 3-0 and in conference play. They only need three more wins to become bowl eligible. Temple's men's tennis team recently took a trip to Bethlehem to participate in the Lehigh Men's Team Tennis Challenge. The Owls won two singles against Delaware and two doubles matches against Moravian. The Rams brothers Philip and Casper teamed up once again for their fifth straight doubles victory this fall. The team's women's soccer team, Temple women's soccer team had a hard-fought battle against Duquesne at the Ambler Sports Complex. Goals by the Yurkovich sisters and a walk-off from Nikki Kahn proved too much for the Dukes as the Owls scraped past 3-2. Kahn, the sophomore forward, now has a team leading eight goals this season. This victory gives the team their fifth win of the year, first in conference, and ended their seven-game losing streak. The men's soccer team had been fortunate enough to have what could be a Temple Athletics Hall of Famer. Updates Joe Polinski has more. Someone is flying high for the Temple men's soccer team this year, and that someone is Noon. Showing speed, agility, and leadership, senior midfielder JT Noon has compiled one of the best soccer careers in recent memory. So far this year, Noon has five assists through eight games, and Atlantic ten best. Earlier this year, Noon set the new school assist record with his 21st career assist, surpassing four Temple soccer greats that Noon, despite his record, has the utmost respect for. It's something that I've been working on since I've been here as a freshman, and, um, but the, it's a long tradition with a lot of great people. Um, in the past, uh, I beat out in order to get the record. I know uh, Tony Donatelli in person, he's a friend of mine. Noon is also a candidate for the Herman Trophy, the highest individual honor in collegiate soccer. As the field gets smaller, one can only wonder if this will be yet another accomplishment in the career of JT Noon. It's obviously a great honor, but uh, I hope more than anything it brings uh, some uh, recognition to our program and because uh, I think we have a lot of a lot of great players here and uh, that aren't really given all the, the respect that they should be. So, you know, I'll just go out and do my thing in my games, though. It's all you can do is play and play for that A-10 title. With Noon being the new assist leader, he could potentially receive All-American honors. If successful, he will become the first Temple soccer player since Jeff Kraft in 1980 to earn back-to-back -back honors. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Joe Polinski. And guys, I know JT is trying to go pro after Temple, so hopefully professional teams won't pass up on him. <laughs> hopefully he can make it to the big time. Hopefully. Thanks, Josh. All you right. know, Brian, I kind of feel like kicking back and singing a song. Hmm. Well, before you do that, let's toss it to update Jennifer Lee with the music trivia question of the week. Good idea. It takes a brave person to get up and sing at a karaoke bar, and they're going to need some help to come up with the answer to this week's music trivia question. So this week's question is, what is the number one karaoke song of all time? Is it A, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, B, We Are the World, or C, Bohemian Rhapsody? I'll be back in 60 seconds with the answer. <laughs> 